All right, and the Pittsburgh Steelers, they've been a hot topic lately, man. So the Steelers, they're trying to find out who's going to be their starting quarterback between Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. Now, one of these guys got a Super Bowl ring. He's a Super Bowl champion, all of that. We know we know the story of Russell Wilson. We know what he's done in the NFL. And then Justin Fields, a younger guy, didn't really get much of a chance with the Chicago Bears, but now he has his chance with the Pittsburgh Steelers to become a starting quarterback. And I'm hearing a lot of nonsense regarding the matter of the Steelers in terms of their season being over and the season just being thrown, tossed in the trash and just stuff like that. It's nonsense. Because, I mean, I get, you know, they don't have Tom Brady at quarterback or they don't have Aaron Rodgers or hell, they ain't even got Caleb Williams. But damn, we gonna really sit here and act like the Steelers quarterback options are terrible. We gonna act like they playing with a Daniel Jones or a Zach Wilson. That's just so disrespectful to these two because, you know, we know Russell Wilson, he's not a quarterback that we've seen in Seattle. He's not that guy anymore, but he's still a damn good quarterback in the NFL because he threw for more touchdown passes than Matthew Stafford, Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson, while throwing less interceptions than two of those three names. So this guy still has some kick in his game. He was just poorly misguided. All last season, he had to pivot in the middle of the season because they got a new head coach with the Broncos. And then how can you get a rhythm when your coach literally does not want you to play in order to receive a bonus and all of this other stuff that was going in it? The politics of his contract that the Broncos front office didn't want to uh, go ahead and respect and allow Russ to get that those numbers that he needed to get the contract incentives. Like, that's just wrong. He dealt with a lot of BS that was going on. I put it that way. So, I mean, Russ is damn a good quarterback. He's a good quarterback. You can't sit here and just completely throw what he's done last season, not even what he's done four or five years ago, what he's done last season out the window just because the hype isn't there. And then with Justin Fields, I don't know where the Justin Fields hate comes from, bro. Like, I think it mainly comes from Bears fans who was just disappointed in what he was doing. But ultimately... Justin Fields is not a bad quarterback. We're yet to see this guy thrive and because he hasn't played with a line. He hasn't played with many receiving options. When he was in Chicago, they didn't dress up the Bears offense like they're doing with Caleb Williams. Hell no. Justin Fields was lucky if he had a second to think about an open target he wanted to throw the ball to. They gave him no time. His offensive coordinator was... I'm going to just be respectful and say his offensive coordinator was not very smart. <laughs> his offensive coordinator was was calling all kind of bad type of calls and stuff. They couldn't find a groove. He didn't have many options at receiver. All the guy he had was DJ Moore. And we've seen them two connect on multiple levels whenever they could. The defense was nowhere near as good as they are now. They were injured. Their play call was bad as well. So this guy has been in a bad circumstance